Hey everyone, I'm Andrew, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me how I'm so confident. I actually never really thought of myself as confident. Well, at least not in comparison to the people I hang out with. I've never been on a trip like that before. Hey babe, you want some of uh, this? Oh, I like that. It's Taekwondo. You wanna like do something sometime or something? We're gonna, we're gonna go. But I suppose that's a little more cockiness than anything else. I guess you could say that I am confident now, but I definitely wasn't always. Actually, funny enough, making YouTube videos helped me a lot. I started making videos back in high school, and at first they were just so painfully awkward. I was quiet and shy and would stutter, but I really wanted to make my videos better and more entertaining, so I took it upon myself to start pointing out all of my flaws on camera. A task, by the way, that was super easy to do and just slowly but surely worked on trying to fix them. Things like sit up straight, or look more enthusiastic, or move your hands when you speak. And once I finally got it to a point that I liked, I noticed that the way I talked to people in general had changed. Just by getting into the habit of it, I started speaking more confidently to everyone. And body language was a big part of that. I was looking people right in the eye, standing up straight, puffing my chest out. And I actually read online somewhere that there was this power pose that you could get into that was scientifically proven to boost your testosterone and amp up your confidence. And while I could have actually learned the pose, I just figured I could wing it. If it felt right, it probably was. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming to the audition. Do you need a script? <laughs> Look, I don't need this script, okay? What I do is called method acting. Watch and learn. <gasps> Actually, you know what? I did forget my line, so uh, that was my bad. But I definitely still go through times where I'm not nearly as confident. For me personally, not having confidence comes from this fear of what people might think of me when I do something. It's like when you tell a joke that no one likes. And then I was like, <laughs> Last I checked, snails don't even have feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that has so to be you, the funniest you, joke you, you that I've oh, ever heard. Oh, okay. I mean, like, oh, the funniest one. Oh, I see you smiling. Oh, dude, okay, dude, okay, my turn, my turn. What's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? <laughs> Anyone can roast beef. Why would you say that? <laughs> But the reality is that even in a worst case scenario, even when you totally humiliate yourself, people forget about it pretty quickly and more often than not, just not care at all. Other people have their own things to worry about. When you see someone walk into a pole or pull on a push door, is your first response, hey, all my friends on a conference call, you're never gonna believe what just happened. No, I mean, you might chuckle a little bit, but you know that you've done worse, so you'll just shrug it off and move on. So the next time you embarrass yourself in public, just remember that most likely, this is what other people are thinking. Hey guys, Whoa. yo, did you see that? That guy just fell flat on his face. I haven't done anything with my life. I wet my bed every night till I was 10, and I still lose sleep over it. <sighs> wow, you guys sure have a lot of problems. My point is that everyone gets self-conscious. Confidence isn't a thing that you have and keep forever. It comes and goes, depending on how you're feeling about yourself. And the best thing you can do is to embrace who you are and to care less about what other people think about you. Because no matter how great you are, there is always gonna be people that you can't impress. Anyways, that was just my personal experience dealing with confidence. But I wanna hear from all of you. Do you consider yourself to be a relatively confident person? And why or why not? I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. And if you enjoyed this video at all, it would help me out a lot if you could give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to me for regular videos. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next week.